And the Volt has uh, strategies around safety before, during, and after a crash. Some of those passive, some of those active. We have over 80% high strength steel in this car, which isn't uh, the primary theme of uh, the conference here. But that is coupled with uh, traditional features like anti-lock brake systems, traction control, stability control, crash avoidance. And in the event that crash just can't be prevented, OnStar will connect with you, will connect an advisor with you, and summon that emergency help when needed. And obviously there's a lot of um, controls and computing involved with all of those, most of those safety systems. And we really rely on Freescale's high integrity processors, they're robust and reliable, to give us that safety critical data that's required. Great. Well, it seems we have something very interesting. Why don't you tell our audience what you brought? Yeah, I brought a cutaway of the Volt, which you saw the uh, Henri in the complete car, but this gives us an opportunity to really look at what makes it go. So let's start with the, uh, the high voltage battery. I've talked about 40 miles many times, and that is because we know that most people commute that distance or less daily, so the car is designed around that. It, it allowed us to right size the battery. Uh, you can see the battery is T-shaped. It runs down the center of the vehicle, with the top of the T being under the passenger seat. It's got over 200 lithium-ion cells, giving us about 16 kilowatt hours of energy in that pack. Uh, that pack is, we con constantly monitor uh, the state of the battery. And this is an example where consumer technology was ready for the automotive space. The controller we use there is a dual core processor. So uh, a great example of bringing forward um, into the automotive world uh, some of those consumer learnings. Uh, when we get to the front of the car here, we actually see the charge port. You saw a picture in one of the earlier demos. This is where you plug in, designed around a 110 volt, 15 amp circuit. So the idea is no special equipment required. So wherever you find yourself, you should be able to uh, plug in where service is available. In the event you might be a little impatient or in a hurry, we can also charge off 240 volts, which will expedite that charging time. Um, this is the onboard charging module that ultimately controls how that energy flows in and out of the pack. <laughs> and a number of other uh, features, primary features of the powertrain are located here in the front of the car. I talked about the onboard charger. This 1.4 liter engine is here, connected to an electric drive unit. You probably can't see from on the floor. But that contains our motor generators and is a primary link, sometimes mechanically, sometimes electrically, between the battery, the wheels, uh, the onboard generator. But one particular part I'd like to focus on is our um, inverter module. This is really the computing workhorse of the car. Um, it has four power processors in it, plus a number of uh, other micros as well, and it provides the overall um, system control, supervisory control of the powertrain and of the propulsion system. So it decides when the motor's motor, when the generator generates, how much power we can pull out of the battery, how much power we can push into the battery. So it really is the heartbeat of the car. Um, while I haven't talked a lot about uh, many of the other capabilities of the car, you can see that this is a very complex uh, controls project. And with that, you know, Freescale has been a significant partner uh, with us in all of our control schemes. And at GM, we're really proud to have you on board in this exciting project. Well, Pamela, we are so pleased. This is such an exciting event, and we certainly wish General Motors and Chevrolet, all the best with this uh, with this vehicle. Thank you. Before I, you leave, I'd just like to say that General Motors and Freescale are the sponsors of the Eco Car Challenge. This is a competition whose goal is to help identify new and innovative ways to improve hybrid powertrain technology. There are 17 universities participating in this competition. Two of them actually have vehicles here from Rose Holman and Mississippi State. They're located right outside the building uh, behind you, and um, we suggest you go take a look at them, and um, and some of you will even get a chance to uh, to take a ride. So, Pamela, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure to have you participate. Thank you for inviting.